So I'm roasting my paprika peppers a bit because I just like the flavors and the taste when it's slightly roasted. What I've done here is with my chicken, I have slightly gashed them um, all over so that the marinade can penetrate inside quite nicely. And we're gonna blend this up and make a paste out of it. Also, I've brined my chicken. Um, uh, overnight so it is nice and tender a lot of you asked why brining the chicken the brining of the chicken makes the chicken really nice and tender it makes it really nice and flavorful so if you can get to any meat i try to do it with all my meat i try to brine all my meat um, if i can um, even if it's for a little while but it really does make a difference Alright guys, so my pep paprika peppers are roasted already. I've got some um, organic jaggery that I've taken out here. Also to cut some cayenne pepper and on this side I've got red wine vinegar. Um, I've got quite a lot of chicken. It's about just under two cages of chicken. So it's a quite a lot of chicken so I want the marinade to be enough. I've got about two lemon and lemon zest here, bay leaf, um, um, bird's eye chili garlic and obviously your white part of this now is i'm going to add all of this into my hand blender and with loads of olive oil we're going to make a marinade and then marinate the chicken you can get your hands and fresh bay leaf that's amazing i normally have it i don't have it today so i'm just gonna crush the dried bay leaf and add that in and goes the rest of the ingredients if this one decides to be a bit more And I'm going to marinate my chicken really, really nicely with this marinade. But what I'm also going to do is take a little bit away um, to use it as a basting marinade when I am actually cooking the chicken. Um, and then we're going to marinate the rest of the chicken. And Give put the it. chicken the authentic flavor of the Nando's um, charcoal smoky kind of flavor. What I've done is I've put on my charcoal here and I'm going to smoke my marinated chicken with the smoke from the charcoal. So that in the evening when I cook it on my cast iron, instead of doing it on a braai, because I'm not doing it on a braai, um, it will obviously have the charcoal kind of hot it's fine if you want it to be this way okay we're gonna place it i've got some onion skin here and in is gonna go a little bit of just a drop or two of ghee and we're gonna close it straight away as soon as the smoke starts coming out we're gonna close this and we're gonna put a cloth over it so we don't um lose all of the smoke um so ideally you want to do this for at least 30 minutes i'm only going to cook my chicken in the evening so i'm going to leave this in here so till the this chicken's is. marinated really really nicely i've got some kept away for basting for tonight i'm going to get started with some spinach here i've got some baby spinach that's here that i bought and then some um, roughly chopped onions fresh garlic fresh red chilies what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly do the blanching of the spinach into boiling water and then straight into ice cold water so that we uh, they don't wilt and we keep its color and then we're going to just stir fry it quickly with those few ingredients and i'm just going to do a quick um, nando's kind of rice to go with the chicken as well. so ideally this should be done to start off with it should be done on high heat and the reason we do that is we want to sear the chicken and we don't want it to release a lot of water because if it starts releasing a lot of water, we end up losing all the moisture that's in the chicken. And here we go, here's chicken getting nicely done here. I still have a lot of sauce left, a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce it and throw over this um, once the chicken comes out. Okay, what I've done here is I've just added a little bit of butter to this leftover marinade and I'm just going to use that to throw on top. 